Okay guys, uh, iron's up to temperature, so let's have a go. Oh, just wondering, shall I do that bit first? Do you know, I think I will. Let's just do that little middle bit first. I sort of plan to do, I don't know if it'll work, is to take it down onto the wing a little bit and then cut it around so as I can put the bit on the top, can overlap it. <laughs> it's a long, long way from perfect. Okay, let's do the fun bit. So I'm going to stick this on. I'm going to take it around there a little bit if I can. And then afterwards I'm going to cut it down that line and along the front. Um, and you do the bottom first in case you didn't realise. And then the top piece can wrap over the bottom piece. A little trick you can employ, and I shall employ it now. And that is to have a little bit of masking tape and stick it on there. Right, I'm going to tack it on the wing tip, even though I, shall, well, I won't be covering it all the way to the tip. Turn that in and that will secure that end. Yeah. So the reason I've gone round inside that rib is when I stretch it out it won't come unstuck. A little trick you can do if you want to get into the, an area there to stick down is to put the knife blade on the sole and actually heat it up but you've got to be quick because obviously it's going to be cooling down very very quickly so hop try and keep it in line to the balsa now this one here hopefully will come off fairly cleanly by going around the edge Is. I'm going to glue that on there that sits there so what I'm going to do I'm going to remove the film down the side here you don't have to do this but if you want a you know a clean edge around things then it'll be done otherwise you end up with a sort of a potential ugly bit okay so just heat that down heat that along there Okay, so I'll cover the scoop separately and then I'll glue it on balsa to balsa and I'm going to end up with a lovely sharp edge. Okay, that's stuck down, it's ready for stretching out. I'm not going to stretch it out yet until I've got the top piece on, otherwise it's likely to walk the wing one way or another. I'll do the top side and get the uh, red on the tips and then I'll come back to you and we'll have a go at tightening it out. The trick is not to heat up the edges, if you do it might pull off. So I'm going to heat up the bulk, turning it over as I go, see what happens and finish it off with the iron if necessary, which it probably will be. Start off on a low heat, keep it moving. Because it's a built up wing, quite small. The heat will penetrate through the wing to the other side a little bit. The, each panel will heat up. All right, we'll turn it up a bit.
not there yet, but what you've got to avoid doing is heating up the glue which you've activated around the edge because if you do that, if you heat the glue up and it's tightening, it's going to pull away. So I'm being very cautious of heating up the edges. But what I want to do is just go over the joints here, just the to make it doubly short to agree with the eye away. as well. So it's a combination of both. You don't actually need a, a hot air gun. You can just go over gently with the iron. There's another method, which I did for years. You can try using a domestic hair dryer. That can work. You'll find different colours require different amounts of heat as well. The red, interestingly, goes a maroon colour when you heat it up. I'm just going to go over that joint. It has pulled, I think, because it's not quite a dead straight line now. Any little marks you can get off with um, cleaning solution. I personally use IPA. Just tighten it out a bit. It's almost acceptable for me. Now, I'm going to do the other half and when that's done, I'll come back and show you. I've done the second half and just cleaned it up a little bit with IPA and yeah it's not too bad just put that on see how it looks it's pretty good we'll do the bottom and then we do the sides and then lastly we do the top I could do the hatch separately. Don't mind slicing it off the end. Okay, that's the basics of it. So now we're going to do is trim it when necessary. Uh, say there. When you cut like that, don't cut right to the very edge. Cut just in a little bit, and then when you turn it around, it'll stretch that last piece. But if you cut right to the very edge, you'll end up with little little bits you'll see from the outside. And now, Naked dressed. Mm, a little bit there. Don't want to be too fussy, but. Let's just sit the hatch on and see how it looks. Oh, I'll put a little tab on the back of that one now, by the way. Yeah, it's a nice fit. It fits. Uh, if you leave a very small gap, you've left enough gap for the film, so it's always a good idea. So a little tab on the back, just a bit of film. I might trim it down in length, we'll see. So that's one side. Uh, I'll do the other side. Do that bit there. 
and then I can do the tops and that will be the fuselage covered. Good progress guys, thanks for watching and I'll come back to you, um, I'll come back to you <laughs> when I've done the other side before I put the tops on. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're learning anything, hit the little subscribe button down below and I'll see you in a moment. Cheers guys. So you've rejoined me. I've done this side, done that side. You rejoined me just doing the turtle deck. Okay, that's gone on nicely. Right now, I wonder if I ought to try putting a bit of masking tape on. It is a cutting line. I just hope this goes down far enough. I've got an idea if it doesn't, but hopefully it will. So now all I've got to do is draw the circle. Going reasonably. Okay, let's see what we've got. That's coming off. There we are, don't look too too closely. If necessary, take it around the bend. Any marks that you want to get off? Iron marks. Okay, see you um, tomorrow morning. Where well, is tomorrow morning? <laughs> I'll see you later this morning. Cheers. <coughs> Covered the tail plane, that went quite nicely. And the fin is covered. Again, that's gone quite nicely. I've taken a little bit of film out of the tail plane and underneath where it joins to the fuselage. Um, and I'm just playing with the elevator. That'll go on there like that. That'll go on there like that. Taking a fin sliver off the top of that top long one as well, just as so I've got some glue joining the surface. It's got glue on there. I put the cockpit on. I put the pilot in. <laughs> um, I haven't made any attempt to glue the cockpit to the um, top hatch there because it drops down. Um, I've just left it in the air, you don't notice. I've just painted the inside of the cockpit as well on the panel, um, you know, the, uh, it needs to be painted. <laughs> you don't particularly notice there's a big gap there. There is a big gap there. Great big gap, but you don't particularly notice. That's fine. So that's the hatch done, so that sits nicely on the top. I put a little skid on the back as well, look, a little tail skid, just to take down the depth of the rudder. I could have trimmed the rudder off at the bottom, but because I'd already run the hinges in, I thought, well, let's just add a little skid. Don't know why I didn't notice it was a little bit too long earlier in the build. sure it's square there we go so it's tidy from that side oops okay job done um so that's if i do an elevator hinged The elevator isn't going to require much throw, 
the rudder as much as we want. Uh, I could connect those up. How are they going to connect up then? Quite simple, I think. Let's have a look, see what we got. Okay, I've put, I've connected up the rudder and elevator. All it does is two bits of wire held together with a bit of heat shrink tube. Hopefully that will do it. Works okay on the bigger models, so it should work on this. Just got to heat shrink it in. For that, I'm going to use this slightly more delicate um, soldering iron. Hopefully it'll be enough to shrink the tube in. All right, so we'll look at that, see if it's actually doing anything. Well, plenty of throw on that. Draw horn. Yeah, I've got over half an inch. So what I think I'll do on that is to drill a hole nearer the, nearer the uh, horn and reduce that throw considerably. Yes, you could reduce it on the transmitter, but it's better to um, do it manually. I want to drill a new hole in this and I'll come back to you soon. That's the control throws done. Um, I've got to stick on the little triangles on the front, which means popping the wing back on the body and seeing where everything fits. Back in a minute. Okay, I've just glued on the leading edge slopey bits. Um, and now, just wondering what else there is to do, to be honest. Fit the receiver, um, propeller. I'll have a go at the... Um, Spinner, there's instructions online how to do it. I'll have a go, see if it'll fit. It'll finish it off rather nicely if it does, um, if I can get it to fit. So it's just a receiver to go on and, and she's ready to balance. Oops, bit stuck to me magnet there. So that actually suddenly comes together it's nearly finished. It's not quite finished because I want to um, add some American markings of some sort. But apart from that, she is finished. Yeah, fit the receiver, adjust the control throws, check the CG, make the spinner, stick on some stickers, and next time you see her, uh, she'll be um, ready for maiden flight. So that's one, two, three, four aeroplanes I've got waiting for maidens. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit the little like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see the maiden flight. And this is V Willie's Nilly P51 Mustang. Thanks guys. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. See if I can get a nice photograph now for the thumbnail. Don't know which side it'd have to be. Something like that. Does that look mean?